In this video, I'm going to show you how to bridge ETH over to Avalanche. There's a few different ways you can do it, and I'll go through those in this video, and then we'll actually make a swap on Trader Joe, which is the top decks on Avalanche. So the first step, we need to add Avalanche, the Avalanche network, to our MetaMask. We're going to click up there and click Add Network, and then we want to add Avalanche Network C Chain. So just click Add, Approve and dismiss and you'll see it's on ethereum mainnet but if we click this we now have avalanche the c chain network as well right nothing in it so the goal is to bridge over some eth to avalanche all right so there's a few ways you can do this number one you could use core app which is avalanche's bridge this is a good option but keep in mind you're going to be paying gas fees you have to have Ethereum in your wallet to pay the gas fees and they're pretty expensive uh, depending on how busy the network is. Right now gas is pretty high. Another option in MetaMask, there's actually a bridge option. If you So this is the MetaMask portfolio bridge. We want to bridge from Ethereum to Avalanche and we're going to select ETH because that's what we have in our MetaMask wallet. And the token we want to bridge to is going to be, is going to be AVAX amount, let's just say 0 0.02. Now it's gonna calculate what this will cost to bridge it over. And you can see it's not gonna work because I need to add more ETH just to pay the gas, which is crazy. If you click this drop down, and it went out and found the best price, right, on all the bridges. So if you look at this, gas fee estimate $130. Again, it depends on how busy the network is at the time you're doing this. But I mean, that's crazy. Every time I've tried this, it's been at least 80 to 90 dollars now it's 130 just to send 44 dollars over it's going to cost 130 in gas that's crazy i'm not doing that maybe if you're sending a larger amount it doesn't matter but if i just want to send a little bit of eth over to avalanche network i'm not going to pay that kind of gas money so, so as a workaround what i'm going to do i have eth in this metamask wallet the fee to do it on here is about the same as well on core as as it is just to use the bridge portfolio option in metamask so I only want to, I only have this much ETH to send. I'm not going to pay those fees. As a workaround, what I'm going to do is I'm going to send this back to my Coinbase account and then I'm going to swap it in Coinbase to Avalanche. And then I'm going to send that AVAX to this MetaMask wallet now that we've added the Avalanche C chain. Oh, in my Coinbase account, I'm going to click send receive. I'm going to select ETH. Here's our address. I'm going to go ahead and copy that. And I'm going to go back to MetaMask. I'm on the Ethereum mainnet. Here's what I have in ETH. I'm going to send it to that Coinbase, to my Coinbase account. 0 .0, 0 0.02 and then click next. Estimated gas fee is just 290 to do this, so much cheaper. Click confirm. All right, so that transaction is pending. It's going to send that ETH back to Coinbase. Okay, so that ETH is sent back to my Coinbase account. I'm going to go back. I'm going to go to my Coinbase account, click on convert. I'm going to select Ethereum and I'm going to just say, I'll just say $40 worth and we're going to convert it to, to AVAX. It's a workaround to not have to pay $130 in gas fee. All right, so preview and convert. So that's how much AVAX we'll get. Convert now. Conversion is complete. So converting that ETH to AVAX by sending it back to Coinbase was a lot cheaper, right? So. Now we have some AVAX and we don't have to worry about using a bridge and paying that crazy gas fee. So let's send this to MetaMask. I'm gonna go back to my MetaMask, make sure I'm on the C chain and then I'm gonna copy, this is our receive address. I'm gonna go ahead and copy that. And then I'm gonna go back to Coinbase and I'm going to click on send receive. I'll go ahead and just send the max amount. We're gonna send it to our MetaMask and preview send. Again, the fee is a lot smaller doing it this way. Go ahead and click send now. Enter the text that you get on the phone connected to your Coinbase account. The AVAX has been sent to MetaMask. Let's let that go through, give it a couple minutes and then go check. I'll pause the video, I'll be right back. All right, so if I go back to MetaMask, you can see that the AVAX has transferred into my wallet. All right, so now we have some AVAX in here. All right, as a last step, I'm gonna show you one more thing. So this is Trader Joe, which is one of the top DEXs uh, on Avalanche. And I'll just show you how this works. If you click on trade. 
select MetaMask, connect. All right, so you can see that we have that much AVAX. So you can see Trader Joe has a ton of options available in terms of coins that you could swap for. Um, again, it's the top decks on Avalanche. It has everything from GameFi to meme coins, stable coins. In this case, we're just gonna go ahead and look for USDC, a stable coin, and we'll select that. And then let's just do 0.6 AVAX, and we'll swap it for USDC. Even though the network is very busy right now on Avalanche, fees are still a lot lower than Ethereum. Looks like the swap went through. You can view it on Snowtrace, which is, Snowtrace is the same thing as like Etherscan or Soulscan on Solana. So then if we go back to our wallet, click on tokens, we'll need to add uh, USDC, right? It's not gonna be in there by default. So, you can actually click on a couple ways you can do it. The easiest way is just click add USDC. Trader Joe does that for any token you're swapping. They make it real simple just to click on, on that. Okay, go ahead and add token. And now we have our USDC and our AVAX. If this video was helpful, please consider leaving a like. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.